Hello guys! Are you having difficulties on how to get the factors and multiples of a number? Are you tired of doing trial and error method to solve it? Because that was the basic way we were taught of. But what if we get the factors of a bigger number? It would be much difficult for you if you will still use the trial and error method. And I am quite sure that it will consume even much of your time to get the correct answer. But don't you worry. Come on, let's talk about it. And I will show you the other methods that I often use in getting the factors and multiples of a number, even of bigger values. And these are just easier to perform without consuming much of your time. I am referring to the divisibility rules. These methods are used to determine whether a given number is divisible evenly by a fixed divisor by simply checking the digits by the given rules. For example, the divisibility rule of 11. Let me use these numbers, 4,653 and 5,071. Let us find out if these numbers are divisible by 11. I would like to share the screen with you so you can better see the explanation. This is the rule. A number is divisible by 11 when the difference between the sum of the numbers in the odd places and the sum of those numbers in the even places is either 0 or equals to a number that is divisible by 11 like the numbers 11, 22, 33, 44, and so on. For example, is 4,653 divisible by 11? The first step that we are going to do is get the sum of the digits that are on the odd places, 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. The second step is getting the sum of the digits in the even places, 6 and 3. Getting their sum is 9. Now, we are going to subtract their sums. 9 minus 9 is 0. The answer is 0. Then, let us check the rule. The difference between the sum of the numbers in the odd places and the sum of those numbers in the even places is either 0 or equals to a number that is divisible by 11. So, in this case, the difference is 0. Therefore, 4,653 is divisible by 11. Another one. Let us try the number 5,071. Is it divisible by 11? Let us check. 5 plus 7 because they are on the odd places. 5 plus 7 is 12. 0 and 1 because they are on the even places. Getting their sum is 1. 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 is divisible by itself. Therefore, 5,071 is divisible by 11. Since 5,071 and 4,653 are divisible by 11, we know now that 11 is one of the factors of each number mentioned. All you have to do now is to divide 5,071 and also 4,653 by 11 to get the other factor of such numbers. Another method which I also find helpful, especially in dealing with bigger numbers to get their factors is the idea provided by the prime factorization because I can get all the factors of a given number in one procedure. It goes like this. Use the smallest prime number to divide evenly the given number and continue until you get 1. 128. We are going to find the smallest prime number that can divide evenly to 128. The prime factorization of 128 is 2 times 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 1. In this process, I can get the factors of 128 by getting all the numbers used in the solution. Therefore, the factors of 128 are... 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. It's now time for us to get the multiples of a number. It is just easy as 1, 2, 3. How? I will show you. The common method on how to get the multiples 
is skip counting. I'll share the screens. For example, to get the multiples of 5, it is just simply skip counting by 5. Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and so on. A trivia for you. Multiples of numbers are endless or infinite. Why? Because numbers are infinite. And therefore, their multiples are also infinite. I hope you would apply this on your math problem solving activities more so in this time of blended learning mode. Thank you and God bless everyone! Did you know that counting of numbers is really important to learn? It is written in Psalms 90.12. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Psalms 90.12 Thanks be to God. Share the love.